I'm going to play a game of solitaire for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. If you are new to playing American Mahjong, there's a link in the video description below to a lesson playlist so that you can learn the fundamentals. Playing a game of solitaire is not for the faint of heart. You've got to manage four hands at one time. If you have a set of tiles at home, I hope you give it a try because it's a great way to learn. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player one will get 14 tiles. Players 2, 3, and 4 will get 13 each. Then we're going to look at everybody's hands and see where the strengths lie. Pick a category to play, maybe even a hand. Everybody has their tiles. Let's look and see what we can do for player 1, also known as East. We have a Joker, pair of East and a South, Red Dragon, 3, 4, 8 in Dots, 4, 7 in Cracks with a pair of 4s, 4, 5 in Bams with a pair of 5s. If this were your hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around the most of my multiples. In this case, I think that would be four or five, which is consecutive. So I would hold three, four, five. Let the wins go and the big numbers. So we have three, four, five. Those can all go. Maybe break up that pair of these. Pass those. Gather three through five. If twos or sixes come in, we might be able to use that. We'll see. I wouldn't pick a hand. Not till we run out of all these discards. But consecutive run is a good category, I think, to play here using four or five. Let's see what we can do for player two, also known as South. Joker, north and south, a white dragon, one, five, six, eight in dots, two crack, two, three, six, nine in bams. We have no multiples. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would play either 369 or 2468. So I would let these go. 369, here's a 6. 2468, we have no 4, so 369 maybe, but I would not pick a hand. Category level, either 369 or 2468. I typically don't pass white dragons, so I think I would pass those. These are very risky to pass because they're a dual tile. They can be used as a dragon or as a zero for the with the year tiles. Let's see what we can do for player three, also known as West. Joker. Pair of flowers, green dragon, and a west. Six, nine in dots, three, five, six in bams with a pair of sixes, two, five in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If 
these were my tiles. I think I would play either like numbers with sixes using this or three, six, nine. So I would keep these. We could play three, six, six, nine, no gaps for the very first hand under that category. And then I would pass those three right there. Either three, six, nine or like numbers with sixes. Like numbers with sixes would use the flowers, but three, six, nine, this first hand, we'd have to discard these flowers. So I think I would most likely try to play like numbers. Maybe. We'll see what we get. Let's see what we can do for player four. This is also known as the North Seat. Dragon, North, Dragons. Dragon, that's a Joker. Joker, North, Dragons. A one BAM and a pair of eight BAMs. One and nine in dots. Five, six, eight, pair of sixes in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around the eights and the sixes. We could play either two, four, six, eight, or we could play maybe something consecutive. So I think I would keep that five. We do have an eight, but I don't know about two, four, six, eight with two sets of eights. There's nothing that really works for that unless we play a pair hand, but we have a joker. We do have dragons though. Six, eight, dragons. We really don't have to pick a category or a hand yet. We can gather for both consecutive run and two, four, six, eight, and pass those. We're ready for the Charleston. First right, east, Passes to south, south to west, west to north. We're doing consecutive run, four, five. We didn't get any keepers. I think that would be a fine pass. We have a seven, seven, one. I think no matter how you slice that, it's going to be a little risky. Maybe we could pass that. Okay, we have a dragon. Here's an eight. Oh, look, a multiple. Our first multiple. This is where I would reassess. I think the wins can go for sure. So we have six, eight. We could play two, four, six, eight. We have a gap right there. Maybe holding two, four, six, eight. We do have matching dragons here. So I think what I would do is let three, six, nine go build around the eight. So let's pass those three. It's a little bit risky. Passing three nine because of the three six nine category. But I'm willing to take the risk to hold on to options. We want either like numbers with sixes or three six nine. Let's break up the dots and pass those three. Now we do have some consecutive here though. Five, six. Let's let the three, six, nine go. Five consecutive run is a little more flexible. Let's see what develops. Oh, we got a two, two, four, six, eight potential. All right, we're on the next pass. 
we're going across east and west north and south Ooh, we have consecutive three four five three four and four I would just keep gathering we have a pair of norths here north and south we have a pair of fours there we could maybe play north and south with fives we'd have to let fours go three four we could play three four five consecutive run in mixed suits second hand down we have a four five four five let's break up the north and pass one five let's keep the five we'll keep three through five and pass those We're looking for two, four, six, eight. We picked up a five wind. I would let those go. We have a seven, five, six, seven consecutive run. We could play mixed suits. Five, six, seven, second hand down on the right. We don't have to pick it yet. That's a potential hand though. Three nine, we have eights, six eight nine. We could do six seven eight nine consecutive run. Five six seven eight consecutive run. I think I would let the two go. Maybe even let the eight go for a defensive pass and focus on the sixes and eights. Except that if we get flowers, we can maybe play like numbers with eights and dragons. Let's let the two go. So we did a cross. Now we're going to do first left. East to north, north to west, west to south, south to east. winds are really going around we have a pung three four five four three four five all we really need are flowers in here we could play that second hand down six eight we have a nine six eight nine eight nine six through nine Let's let that two go. We have a three. Three, six, nine keeps coming back. There's only one hand with flowers exposable, and then there's one concealed. Maybe we should start keeping three, six, nine since it keeps coming back. But we do have five, six, seven. Let's let this five go. We have five, six, five, six, seven, three, six, six. Five, six, seven, mixed suits, dot spams, cracks. We could maybe still do like numbers with sixes and dragons. So let's keep the dragon. We have a nine, six, eight, nine, one, eight. We could still maybe do like numbers with eights if we can get flowers. And we have five, six, gap, seven, eight, consecutive run, six, seven, eight, consecutive run. I think we can let it, uh, let's see, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Let's let the nine dot go. 
All right, we are now on second left. Everybody has tiles to pass. Two, we got a two. Here's a one. One through five, we're missing twos though. We still have the four. We have three, four, five. Let's let that two go. And nobody's been keeping wins. They just keep coming around. Let's pass them. Here we have sixes, eight, six, eight. Here's two. I think I would just pass those though. Stick with six through nine maybe. Here's a nine, three, six, nine. I think that's what I would probably focus on. We have four, five, six, dragon. Let's let the dragon go. I think either three, six, nine or five, six, seven consecutive run. No keepers here. Winds keep going around. We're on the cross pass. Okay, we got a dragon. Three, four, five dragon. Three, four, five mixed suits. We have a five here. Let's pass fully and keep three, four, five dragon. Three, four, five mixed suit. If we can get a two bam, we could play one through five. You maybe use this as joker bait. No keepers. Two crack. No keepers. Oh, five. Five, six, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. We have a gap hand. We have a joker though. You can use any number of jokers for that hand. That would be the third hand down under consecutive run. Let's keep them and pass those. Last right. Okay. One, three, five, nine. If we get a seven, we could play one, three, five, seven, nine. We could even use this. One, three, five, seven, nine. That's a gap hand too. I think I would rather pass fully and focus on little numbers. Okay, we have a five in here. Five, six, eight, nine. Wins. Nobody wants them. No keepers. There's a two. We have five, six though. All right, so that was last right. We're doing optional cross. Everybody has three. No keepers. Well, we do have a one, three, one, three, three, five. No gaps for one, three, three, five. Third hand down. One, three, three, five. No keepers. I think I would focus on consecutive run or three, six, nine, probably consecutive run, six, seven, eight, nine, five through nine, maybe. Well, we got a nine, three, six, nine. I think that's what I would focus on. Maybe three, six, nine concealed, three, six, nine concealed. We could still maybe play five, six, seven. Let's start by discarding those. We have no keepers here. Look at all those wins. We're done with the Charleston. If you like, you can be the fifth player and bet on who you think will win the game. Pause the video, look at everyone's hand and decide who you think has the best chance to win. Then write your guess in the comment section below. 
and include the reason why you think they'll win. I'm gonna place my bet using this. I'll put it right there. We're gonna mark whose turn it is with this adorable die. Look, there's a joker. We'll mark each player's turn with this die. We're gonna start by discarding for east. We'll discard a west. Eight. All right, so we have five through eight, no sevens. Let's let the winds go. Three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. Let's discard east. East. We got a one. Little odds. One, three, three, five. Maybe these can be joker bait. Let's discard south. Five through nine. We'll gather. We'll just gather big numbers. Discard north. Flower. Maybe we could keep it. If we play 369 concealed, we only need two. Let's discard two crack. Six bam. We need a seven bam. Let's discard the winds. South. Six dot. Well, we can keep it. Let's discard the twos. Two crack. Two dot. We have three, six, nine. Let's discard two dot. White dragon. Ooh, there's a pair. Not sure if we can use it right now, but let's discard north. Nine crack. We want little numbers. Seven crack. So there's our first seven. Five through nine. We have a seven now. Let's discard two bam. Still don't have to pick a hand. We've got discards. One crack. North. Oh, there's a four. Three, four, four, three, four, five. One, three, three, five. Let's discard the green dragon. Nobody wants it. Eight crack. Okay, filling in a little bit now. We have five, six, seven, eight. No gaps. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. That's the third hand down. Five, six, seven, eight. So here's five, seven, eight, six, bam. Let's just keep the number tiles and let these dragons go. Red. Nobody wants dragons or wins. Two dots. Three, 
three crack. We have five, six, eight, six, one, three. Let's discard one dot. One dot. Now here, we could take this for one, three, three, five. I'm thinking because we have no gaps, maybe we should think about it. We could pong, we could kong the five, we could even pong the three dot. Let's call it. We'll hold the fours for joker bait. And let's discard these. One bam. One, three, three, five. That's the third hand down under odds. One bam. Flower. Okay. Now we have four flowers. Wow. I wonder if we should maybe switch to like numbers with sixes and five flowers. We need more flowers. If we play the one with a quint, one, one more flower, or we could play five, six, seven. Five, six, seven uses four flowers. This would be the second hand down. Let's keep the six for potential like numbers with five flowers. So Let's discard three dot. It's this player's turn. This player could call that three dot and expose a joker. Since we can call for a Kong there, let's do it. Let's call and commit. We're gonna risk losing that. We'll see, we'll discard four dot. Nobody wants four dot. We got an eight crack. We have eights. Five, six, seven, eight. Now we have no gaps. Joker bait there. Let's discard this white dragon. Now up here, I would not call that really and nobody's taken that white dragon, this probably would be good to discard next because we really can't use it here. So let's draw. Last tile, second wall. Oops. One bam. South. Nobody wants wins. Let's hope we get our three dot back. West. Seven dot. Okay, now this is an interesting development. We have five, six, seven, eight. We could do eight, nine, bam. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, bam. It's a gap, but I would hold that as an option. Sometimes I'll turn options upside down. Let's discard six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. We have six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's discard these. Five crack. We have a pung in there, but we do have five through nine or five, six, seven, eight. And that would be joker bait or this would be joker bait. We have one discard before we have to choose. Oh, five crack, five crack up here. We could call it five, six. This is a gap filler, eight bam. Since we can use any number of jokers and we can pung here, 
let's go ahead and call. I don't usually do that, but we have a joker. So let's discard the white dragon. We'll hold number tiles, see if we can get jokers. Two bam. We have one, three, three, five. We're committed. Two bam. And nobody wants two bam. Two bam. Four crack. Four crack. It's this player's turn. Oh, here, this is Joker bait. So that's probably a discard because nobody's going to call that four crack. So we'll draw. One dot. It, nope, we got a pung here. There's a joker. Oops. Flower. No, we don't need it. Flower. This player's turn. This player could quint, but we don't have the other six. We need six cracks. So I wouldn't do that. I'd focus on five, six, seven. Oh, nine dot. Five through nine. Now this is the weakness. We need a pair here. Let's discard six bam. We still don't have to commit. We can still do five, six, seven, eight and use jokers in here. Oh, 6 p.m. Oh, we need a pair for that. So we're okay there. Up here, five, six, seven, eight. We have a gap. One crack. Oh, we got these eights, but I don't think it's gonna be very helpful. We have five, six. Eight, eight. Let's discard white dragon. North. Green. Nobody wants the dragons. Joker. Okay, well, that's nice. Let's discard. We have all these flowers. There are no four flower hands in 369. So three BM. Now down here, we're not ready, so we can't take it. White dragon. Seven BAM. That's what this player right here needs, but we're not ready. Three crack. Nobody wants three crack. A flower. Oh my goodness, look at that. Five flowers. Okay, so what we maybe should consider is that quint like number hand. We could pung here, kong here, and hope for six cracks, but that's a pair gap. That's very risky. I think I would probably Stick with the plan. Use this here and here. Let a, let a flower go later. Let's discard nine bam. That's a tough situation. But this six crack, that's a pair gap. That's very risky to play that hand with that kind of a gap. Four dot. Nobody wants it. Four bam. Oh, look at that. We have one, three, three, five. We're committed. Four bam. And nobody wants four bam. Three dot. One dots are here. One, three, five, seven, nine. But all the ones are out. <gasps> Exchange. Oh my goodness. I almost discarded that. Okay, so we can use that in here. We can pung pung maybe. Or we could play five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Use these in here. We have to make a choice right now. 
we have one, two, three pair in there, and then we had one, two big multiples. We can use these. We could Kong, Pung, Pung, be ready to win. No gaps. Let's let these go. Seven cracks. Up here, we need to Kong right here, either now or later. Let's go ahead and Kong. It's a little risky with two jokers, but we either need it now or we're gonna need another a joker later. So let's take it, nine dot. This will be discarded. So will that. Four flowers, we need five dots, but at least our pair is there. Oh, nine dot, nine dot, right here, we can Kong. I almost missed that one. Nine dot. We'll throw eight crack. And nobody wants the eight crack. Three dot, they already got that. Let's let this flower go. Early in the game if you can. Nine crack. So let's discard Green Dragon. Okay, here we go. Five crack. We want five bam. Five crack. That's up here. Seven bam. This player is going to need jokers. One bam. Oh, Joker, there's one, <laughs> nice. We can Pung, we could Kong there and build up our sevens if it is discarded. Three Crack was discarded a minute ago, let's throw that. Four Dot. Red Dragon. Joker. Okay, nice. We need one more in there. Let's discard three dot. We need help. We need a seven bam. Oh, we got a nine crack. We can hold that for a little bit. Eight crack. We need a keeper. Nine bam. Six crack. We are committed to five through eight. Eights have been discarded. We're in the middle. We're, we're kind of heading into the end game. So this is when you want to start holding on to safe tiles. Since the eight cracks have been discarded and nobody wanted them, let's discard the six right now. And this player is going to Pung. At least it's not Mahjong. So we'll discard six Bam. That's our pair here. Two crack. Green Dragon. Eight bam, eight bam, up here. This, we're gonna reveal everything. Everybody's gonna know. Well, with two exposures, people already know. So we need seven bams. Let's discard eight dot. Nobody, oh, right here, Pung. Right, eight crack. Okay, nobody wants eight crack. Okay, now we would love to have this joker back. No, oh, that's a keeper though, look, five dot. Okay, we're gonna discard six dot. Six dot, ready to win on a five dot. Five, six, seven, mixed suit. So six dot was discarded. We have a pair here for five through nine. So that's good. We're up here now, last tile, third wall. 
9 bam. We want a 7 bam. Okay, 9 bam. This player's turn. We need a 3 bam. West. Oh, two fives. We need a pair here. This hand is at risk. We're not going to... Oh, yeah, this is concealed in here. Four bam. Oh, oh, this player's in trouble. Oh, exchange for Mahjong. We got Mahjong right there. Four flowers, five, six, seven. Consecutive run. Picked it. They picked it. Okay, so <laughs> who did you pick on? Did you pick this player? I chose right. I picked West. They had no gaps. I picked that player because they had no gaps. This player has no gaps, but they needed Kong tiles. They were, they were all right. They might have been able to make it. This player too, but it was a little risky because of the fives. That, that's a pair of tile. So they really needed that five. One discard though. And up here, they had a gap, gap hand. But they could use any number of jokers. And they had some joker bait, which should have gone out probably towards that end of the middle wall, but really nobody wanted it anyway. So everybody got pretty close, I think. That was a close game. Here's our winner. Five, six, seven consecutive run. Very flexible category. When I first look at hands to decide which player to bet on, I first look for jokers. Then I look for gaps. And then I look for flexibility. In this case, I went with player three because I had a feeling they were gonna to switch to consecutive run with their tiles, even though their predominant pattern was three, six, nine. But you can fill in those gaps with those number tiles, which is what happened in this case. And they won with consecutive run. If you have a hard time picking a player to bet on, consider the player in the consecutive run category. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.